Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a book cover for free, or at least very affordably, with a software called Canva. Okay, so first off, what is Canva? What is this software? Canva is a super, super simple graphic design tool that is made for the non-technical person. It's, it's made in such a way that you don't even really need any skills. You don't, even, you don't really even need time to kind of learn it. It's just, it's just It just goes as far as you know, getting acquainted with the layout and how things work. And that is what I'm going to be showing you in this video. Some other useful stuff to know is that it's web based. Um, you use it in your browser. You don't even have to download it. It is free to use, but you do have to pay for premium graphic elements. So the best graphic elements that they offer, you will have to pay for these for a license to to use them. Uh, but we'll get into that in, in a minute. Okay, now let's go to canva.com and check out how it works. All right, so this is what Canva looks like. First, to get an ebook cover created, you would um, go to either create a design or just select, as you can already see, a Kindle cover um, option is presented here. I'll choose the create design just in case it does not show the same thing f to you. So you can just browse around. Here you have blogging and ebooks, but I'll, I'll just select the Kindle cover. They have the recommended dimensions already set for all of these all these covers, and then you can just go ahead and select whichever template you feel would be best for your book. Let's see here. Um, I kind of like this one. I, I feel I like the colors on it. So, also another thing I want to point out here is that. You can distinguish the free covers from the covers that have elements that will cost you by by what shows in the right bottom corner. So if there's a little dollar sign, you can expect to see elements that are that will cost you. Or as as you can see here, there's a little free free text. So so those are free. And then we can start playing around with this cover. So for example, let's see. For example, you, you would want to change your book title then to change the font you would use this select whichever font you feel is appropriate which gives the right kind of feeling just legible and which fits your bill probably one thing that is useful to note here is that if you if you feel you don't really have a designer's eye, so to speak, it's probably best if you get someone to do this for you. Because your book cover is your essentially it is your most important marketing element. And if you kind of screw it up, you just make things so much more harder for yourself when it comes to sales and uh, that sort of stuff. So if you're you know if you're going the affordable route, if you're going the route of you know, doing everything yourself with, with Canva, then it's, I, I advise, if you think you don't have the touch, then uh, find someone who does. All right, so then to, if you would like to play around with the spacing, this this is the tool that you would use, the line height, spacing between your lines. What else would be relevant and useful? The bold, italics. So yeah, as you can see, it's very, very straightforward, incredibly straightforward. If you would like to add another text element, you would go over here, just add another heading. Here in the background section, you can select different, kind of, different kinds of patterns for the background area of your book. For example, you have this weird dotted one or this probably would work only <laughs> for some books. Then you can search for images in this search bar that they offer you. You can see all this is free. Occasionally here you have one that is that will cost you. And then what you would do once you've selected your image, you would just stretch it out like so and it automatically brings the the text elements to the front and then you can go to the elements tab and if you have some sort of 
vision in mind, specific vision, you can play around with any of these elements to create an awesome book cover. To explore a wider selection of templates, go to Explore Templates in the Home Dashboard or the Home Screen and then go to Book Covers, which will show you a lot of different book cover genres for the templates and you can choose whichever, whichever genre your book is in. Alright, let's see what business offers us. Let's say we're done tweaking your cover. Then what you would do is go to download and choose your file type. For Amazon's KDP, you would choose the JPEG. Then you would click download. So if it has special elements, if it has elements that are not free in it, it will show you this. And then you would have to choose what type of license you're gonna buy. What they offer is one-time use, multi-use, and extended different different price points different limitations on on each of these I won't bore you with this too much if you want to learn more about this there will probably be a link somewhere in the description below feel free to check that out before wrapping up I want to leave you with some important or useful points to remember about creating book covers especially you creating book covers for online marketplaces such as the Amazon Kindle so remember that your text, your title has to be large and legible, especially for when it's reduced to a smaller thumbnail size because that's how people will view your book cover online. Next, have something that grabs people's attention, that sort of stands out from your competition, stands out from the other books in your category or niche. And again, remember that the goal is to accomplish that when your book is in thumbnail size. You got to be thinking about how your customer is going to view the book cover. And thirdly, your book cover should represent the content of your book, the what is inside. It should have so some sort of association and it should also represent the quality of your book, which just simply means that your book cover should be high quality because because simply put, a high quality cover communicates a high quality book, high quality content. So, these are the things that you got to be thinking about. Alright, there you have it. That is how you create a book cover with Canva. As always, I hope this was useful for you. And I invite you to grab a copy of our free report, The 7 Pillars to Self-Publishing Best-Selling Books. Inside you'll find a lot of awesome information on keyword optimization, powerful book marketing tactics, cover design, category selection, pricing, and much much more. So. Just go ahead, click the link, submit your email address, and we will deliver this report to your inbox. And also feel free to browse around other videos on our channel. A lot of free value being put out. So yeah, that is it. I shall see you again in another video.